Experiment 5. Determining the buffer capacity of antacids. Different organs and fluids in our body have different pH values. Our stomach, for example, can have pH value as low as 1.5, which is quite acidic. At times, the stomach can overproduce hydrochloric acid, a condition called gastric hyperactivity. Symptoms include heartburn, sour stomach, and acid indigestion. And antacid are used to treat these symptoms. Antacids are weak bases that neutralize excess hydrochloric acid. Some weak bases that you may find in the over-the-counter antacid include sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, magnesium hydroxide, aluminum hydroxide, calcium carbonate. This experiment is designed to determine the total amount of acid neutralization ability the commercial products have through a method called back titration. Back titration is a titration technique used when the initial endpoint of a reaction is difficult to identify. One example to use back titration is when the acid or the base is an insoluble salt, such as calcium carbonate. Let's take calcium carbonate as an example. Calcium carbonate is a common ingredient in commercial antacid. Assume we have a solid sample containing calcium carbonate. How do we find out the percentage of calcium carbonate? We first weigh a certain amount of that solid sample, transfer into an Erlenmeyer flask, add hydrochloric acid. Now, instead of direct titrate this calcium carbonate with equivalent amount of hydrochloric acid, which is very hard for the solid sample, we add excess amount of hydrochloric acid. The red color indicates its excess amount. The rest is the hydrochloric acid react with calcium carbonate. This forms sodium chloride, water, carbon dioxide, and of course some excess amount of hydrochloric acid indicated by the red color. Now we use sodium hydroxide to back titrate this excess amount of hydrochloric acid. By measuring the volume of sodium hydroxide used for the titration, we can calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide used for the reaction. And this number of moles should equal to the number of moles of excess amount of hydrochloric acid. Because we also know the total amount, total volume of hydrochloric acid used we can calculate the total amount of hydrochloric acid added to the sample. The difference between the total amount of hydrochloric acid and the excess amount of hydrochloric acid is the amount of hydrochloric acid react with calcium carbonate. This is also the capacity of the solid sample that can neutralize hydrochloric acid. In general, we have three steps for back titration. First, the analyte, in this case, is the solid sample, react with an excess amount of a second reagent. Here is hydrochloric acid. We then titrate this excess amount of uh, second reagent, which is hydrochloric acid, by secondary standard, that's sodium hydroxide. The difference between these two is the amount of a second reagent react with analyte. In this case, is hydrochloric acid react with the salt of the sample. In this experiment, we use bromophenol blue as the indicator 
Bromophenol blue has a distinct color in acidic and basic ranges, as shown below. Since an antacid containing weak bases, the solution should appear as blue at the beginning. When excess amount of hydrochloric acid is added, the solution becomes acidic and the color should change to yellow. And now, when we titrate this excess amount of hydrochloric acid by sodium hydroxide, the solution eventually becomes neutral and the color changes to greenish blue. And that's the end point. So here is a list of chemicals that you need to find the SDS. Mainly these three chemicals. This is a list of hardware you need for the experiment. The methodology has already been illustrated in the previous slides. Here is the simplified procedure. Acquire hardware. Grind the commercial antacids into powder as per your TA's instruction. Clean all your glasswares thoroughly and rinse everything with DI water. You need two burettes. One is for hydrochloric acid. The other is for uh, sodium hydroxide. Fill each burette and get your samples ready. Acquire your first antacid and measure about 0.3 gram and record its mass. You need to prepare for three samples. Carefully transfer these to each of your three Erlenmeyer flasks. Add around 20 ml of DI water to each flask and swirl to dissolve the solid. Once the solid is dissolved, add two or three drops of bromophenol blue indicator. Note the color change. Using the hydrochloric acid burette, slowly add acid until the solution turns yellow and stay yellow after swirling. Notate the amount of acid used. Refill the burette with hydrochloric acid. Now switch to the sodium hydroxide burette and slowly add the base until the color of the solution turns bluish green. Notate the amount of base needed to titrate the acid to end point. Refill the burette with sodium hydroxide. Repeat this procedure for each sample. Do this for at least two different antacids. Pre-lab questions. Question 1. Why is bromophenol blue and not a filial daily used as an indicator for the antacid titration? This is because at the end, end point of the titration, the solution is a slightly acidic and we need an indicator that can change color at a slightly acidic condition and bromophenol blue does that. In addition, bromophenol blue has distinct color change along the pH range. For example, it is a distinct blue at a high pH, bright yellow at a low pH and has a nice transition at the end point which is easy to detect. Pre-lab question 2. Find the weak base used in commercial antacids. Identify the brand and the weak base. A simple Google search will show you a list of chemicals such as aluminum hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, aluminum carbonate, calcium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, Question number three. This question will help you to perform calculations after you finish the experiment. So if you weigh one gram of antacid 
and then you add 20 milliliter hydrochloric acid, which is in excess amount to react with antacid. And then you use 5.25 milliliter of sodium hydroxide to back titration of the excess amount of hydrochloric acid. <clears throat> How do you calculate the moles of acid the antacid uh, can counteract per gram? So first, you calculate excess amount of hydrochloric acid that react with sodium hydroxide. So you start with the amount of sodium hydroxide and calculate the number of moles. And the equation is the volume times volume milliliter h to liter and then times molarity volume times molarity that's the number of moles of sodium hydroxide now in the reaction sodium hydroxide and the hydrochloric acid is one to one ratio so using this conversion factor you change sodium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid. And now you get 0 0.000525 moles of hydrochloric acid that in excess amount. Next, calculate total moles of hydrochloric acid. So you start with the total amount of hydrochloric acid used. 20 milliliter. So again, volume change to little times molarity. That gives you total hydrochloric acid 0 0.002 moles. The difference between the total moles and the excess amount is the amount of hydrochloric acid that reacted with the antacid. If you divide by the number of grams of antacid, that will give you the moles of acid neutralized per gram of antacid.